IOptimizer is one piece of the unique Mentor PCB design and verification integrated flow, and more particularly the design optimization process. It entirely relies on the best-in-class tools that Mentor owns, making a full integration within the PCB design flow possible. In many companies, FPGAs and boards are developed in by two separate teams, sometimes located in different places, countries or even continents. So it is very frequent that FPGAs and the board which will receive them are designed in isolation using the traditional over-the-wall methodology consisting of exchanging files in a very informal way. The experience shows that this is a perfect recipe for a disaster. With multi-thousand pin devices and without the appropriate design methodology based on an efficient eye optimization but also on an optimal FPGA onboard placement, FPGA onboard integration may lead to unroutable boards, which require best case several time consuming iterations between the FPGA and the PCB design teams, and worst case a change of the board size or board stack up, inducing unexpected extra costs. The methodology enforced by IO Optimizer minimizes the risk that the best case and worst case scenarios described above occur, first by enabling an efficient and formal collaboration between the design teams, and second by providing the technology to concurrently optimize both FPGA placement and IO optimization. The creation of a PCB part for a BG FPGA device with a few thousand pins is extremely time consuming and error prone. Before the part is ready to be used in a design, it can easily take a few days. The FPGA part wizard is a utility available in library tools to, to create such a part in minutes. It gives you access to the main FPGA vendor's device libraries, Intel, Altera, Xilinx, Microsomi, and Lattice. The symbol have been created and associated to the footprint to create the part. Ready for instantiation. We can check in the partitions which used earlier that symbols and part have been created in the right location. Our Vertex 4 device is available and the symbols can be placed via the dedicated place FPGA command. We place the bank symbols on the first sheet and the other symbols on the second sheet. We go to the remaining information on wizard. The VHDL ports have been extracted and will be added to the database. The pin haven't, haven't been assigned yet, so this is the next step, your next step. There are various techniques available to ease this phase. It is always a good idea to check that all pins have been assigned. We can now back annotate the schematic with the newly entered information. The schematic being in sync with IOPT, we can now forward annotate the changes to the layout tool. So we bring up the project integration dialog and push the amber button. Once done, the image processor FPGA will be available, ready to be placed in the layout. The netlines between both FPGAs and FPGAs and connectors are shown. Back to IOPT, we will now optimize the IO assignment based on the layout information. The latest layout information is loaded, but you can modify the placement, flip or rotate the FPGAs to minimize the number of crossovers. Notice that the partially routed nets shown earlier do appear in the floor plan in the floor plan view. So you save both databases and you update the floor plan view with the latest FPGA information. Back to IOPT, you'd like to preserve the placement you use to optimize the FPGAs. You can then update the layout database with the latest connectivity information and eventually apply the IO placement, which reflects what you have in the floor plan view. So let's quickly route a few nets with the sketch router to get an idea of what the routing can look like. At la last but not least, you must send the new pinout information to the FPGA designers who need to check that the timings are still met before they can physically implement the FPGAs. Note that the HDL and contents files can be part of the FPGA database and any change which may impact the pin assignment will be flagged. It allows to formalize an iterative optimization process between the FPGA design and the FPGA design and the FPGA design teams. All major FPGA vendors are supported. Intel FPGA, formerly Altera, Xilinx, Microsemi, and Lattice. Libraries are updated regularly and can be live updated from within the application.